Hi, I'm Rudo Zanel, and I don't have a proper intro today. But today, in Batch, Batch tutorial number 63. Wow, that's a big number. <laughs> um, we're going to be testing for delayed variable expansion, because in the last video we were taking a look at how we can set up delayed variable expansion uh, without the set local command, because normally we've been using the set local command inside t our typical script, our typical program, but maybe we want to have a little bit more functionality than that, so here's how we're going to be testing whether or not delayed variable expansion is on inside the registry from a shell script, and uh, we're going to be doing that today. That's why I keep saying we're going to be doing it over and over again, probably because we're going to be doing it. So, in the last video, we took a look at a command called regAd. Now, in um, this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at regQuery. So, if I get CMD ready and we actually question that, regQuery, we still don't have the syntax or anything here, but we want to know a little bit more about it. So, if we go up here, we can check it out. We get the key name and the value name, and that's really all that we have to worry about, because then it'll output uh, the actual information that we need to be checking out. We can decide whether or not it's on or not just from that information. So reg query, and remember the key was h key uh, local machine h key lm software Microsoft command processor. Now the value that we're looking at was delayed expansion. Now that's pretty simple and easy. Now if we were to check that out inside of our shell, if I ran test, this is the information that we get. Delayed expansion, registry word, so we get the type and we get the value here, but the value is actually this piece right down over here. Uh, I'm going to enable it really quickly. If I run test one more time, now you can see that it's a 1 at the other end of the uh, little 0x, and uh, that's to determine whether it's on or off. So if I disable it and break out of here, there is a way we can get only the piece that we're interested in. Let's actually throw this inside of a for loop for dash f, because it's a command, so we can work with that output and try and manipulate it. I'll do dash dash g in Reg query, and uh, we'll have the two backs. Uh, I'm sorry, the single quotation marks, so we can manipulate it the way we need to, and we can echo out pretty simple, just that. Okay, if I get CMD and try it again, we should have the same output here. Oh, yep, here it is without any uh, tokens or delimiters, so it's only getting the first information that we see. But we can supply some options. Let's say we wanted have tokens equal, I think, was it three? Or was it? I'll do all first and see. actually see what we need to do. So we need, yeah, we need the third one here. Because we've got delayed expansion, this block of white space, registry word, another block of white space. So this was what we actually need, this three spot over here. Tokens equals three. We run it again, and this is the information that we get received because there's no part on the top line. The only thing we'll actually see is this one down here. But I only want the variable that's at the very end, so how can we do that? Well, we do know that we can use our substring. So let's actually set a variable output and actually set it to this. And we can, of course, go ahead and echo out the value of output without any exclamation points, because we don't know whether or not delayed variable expansion is on or not. And we'll use our substring notation with a colon and a tilde. And I think we'll just start from 2. Let's see if that works. Um, that's how we get from 2 to 1. Yep, <coughs> that works for us. Now if I enable it, open up CMD one more time. Now you can see it is... What's happening here? Oh, uh, I think I know what we're doing wrong here. Um, if we actually take out the echo command out of the for loop and just bring it out to the very end, that should work. If I open up CMD one more time, now I can run test. Okay, and it still receives one. It might be a better idea to actually change this substring to start from negative one and not go anywhere, because that'll just go to the very end. So uh, if I exit out again, I think. Actually, no, test will still work from here. 
Yeah, it's still it's still zero. I'm sorry, one. And if we disable it, get CMD ready. If we test it, there's zero again. So uh, there's a pretty simple and easy way. We can obviously turn this into a function, have it, um, you know, set a variable as to turn as to whether or not this is true or not, and that sort of thing. And then we can throw that into our own if conditional statement. And uh, we might work with that later on. But for now, I'm, I trust you guys. I think this is this is all to be in your own hands because you know how to do it. <laughs> you should have been learning something. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Bye.